Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marion. I create videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and follow me along this journey. I'm new to YouTube, so please go easy on me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back for another video. Today's video is about the new Fenty Beauty Skin Blur Tint. I purchased mine um, about a week and a half ago and I'm a little bit late to the game because it did come out a couple of weeks ago. But hopefully today I can show you me using it for the first time and what my thoughts are on it. If you're interested in that, keep on watching. So I got mine from Harvey Nichols. I purchased mine um, on their website. So I haven't actually opened it. I've got the receipt here and it came in a box like this. So I bought alongside it the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation and altogether it came to £55. The Ease Drop Blurring Tint was £25 and the powder foundation was £27. So today I'll be focused on the Fenty Beauty Skin Blur Tint. It comes in the packaging like so. So compared to my face, that's how big it is. I don't know why I always feel like the Fenty Beauty products are quite small. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Because on the website, this looks quite big. I mean, I suppose, it, yeah. So it looks like this. I got the shade 23, um, so basically I follow Fenty Beauty on Twitter and when it was dropping they did um, like this tweet where they were like drop me your foundation um, shade and I'll let you know what skin tint, you, what shade in the skin tint you are. So a lot of people were dropping then like foundation shades like you know 430 whatever the shades were and I had to scroll all the way down because I'm in shade 470. And there was like one girl who'd like put 470 and they replied to her saying like try shade 23. So that's the shade I've gone along with. Hopefully it will work. Um, I've already done my eyebrows, I've moisturised my face and I've done my primer. So I'm just going to get straight into it and let you know what my thoughts are. So just looking at the website, the, note, the um, information on this skin tint says... The blur is real. Rihanna wanted to create an easy to apply flexible skin tint that evens out your complexion and gives you a blurred effect. So I guess like a filter. Fenty Beauty's Ease Drop is perfect for a no makeup makeup look or when you want to look effortlessly put together. So that's what I'm going to do today. So obviously I'll just see how it goes. I will, I will apply like um, concealer and powder but I won't go into like eyeshadow, eyelashes. I'll literally just strictly use it as it says for like a no makeup makeup look. So, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a stippling brush, like a foundation brush, and that's what I'm gonna use to apply it to my face. I don't know why I'm nervous about this. It's, like, <laughs> it's not even that big a deal. It's like, I'm just like, oh God, what if it's the wrong shade? But fingers crossed it's fine. So, Let's go. So this is what it looks like when it's open. I'm gonna put some on my hand. Okay, it's quite, I don't know if you can see. It's quite like runny. I was expecting it to be a bit thicker, but the shade does, I would say that's about right. Yeah, I think that's about right for shade rain. Let's put it on my face and see. Okay, All right, I don't want to get excited because obviously I've just done it like one second ago. But, wow. Okay, let's carry on, let's carry on, let's carry on. Guys, honestly, I'm not even... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why am I getting excited? I actually really like it already. I've only done one slide. Right, anyway, let's move, let's move. Oh my God. Oh my god. Who is Rihanna's chemist? Because she never fails. Can you see that? Or is, it, is it just me? Or... No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I think the shade is perfect. So, thank god. I saw that tweet on um, Twitter. Oh my god like wow wow guys is it just me 
what do you <sighs> you know when you use something for the first time and you love it it's like that feeling is especially when you weren't expecting to okay what literally I feel like it's just literally done what it says on the tip so I don't know if you guys have seen my other video where I reviewed the Huda Beauty foundation my skin is quite texturized and my pores are like larger than life and I'm just gonna come a little bit closer can you see I don't even think you would need to wear concealer and do all that jazz with this I, th I thought it was like you had to wear concealer and I don't even think I'm gonna do that I'm literally just what I will do is I'll set it with the found foundation powder oh my god that is beautiful that is really 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 nice wow so one of my friends shout out to Bookie she always watches all my videos she's the kind of person that she she likes makeup but she doesn't like wearing heavy makeup book if you're watching this video you should definitely get this I don't know what shade we'll find your shade but you need this in your life this is like wow 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 guys I could literally just go out Wow. Very, very, very impressed. Very impressed. Guys, I wouldn't lie to you, like honestly. If you are thinking about getting this and you haven't done so, do it. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply the um, the powder foundation that I bought. Let's see how that goes. So just for reference for size, as I always show you, this is the size of the powder foundation. That's the packaging. And I think this is a decent size. I'm not going to complain about Oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks nice. So that's what it looks like. This is my first time trying their powder foundation. I've tried the, sh the, shame, the same shade I use in a liquid foundation, which is 470. So how cute is that? And it comes with a mirror. Hello. I, oh, Rihanna, thank God you did this Fenty Beauty line because honestly, it was hard out here for dark skin girls. Right, so let's apply the foundation powder. So it says on the back, soft matte powder foundation. So let's give it a go and see how we do. Perfect, literally perfect shade. Wow. I think this is my new go-to makeup look. I'm not even gonna lie. Like you know, like when you're not having a party, you just you just maybe running errands, going to the shop, but you want to look a bit decent. I love this. Oh my god. Wow. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy. Right, let's apply some mascara. And I might put some blush on, just, you know, for some dimension to my face. So we'll just put some mascara. The mascara I'm using is my normal Rimmel mascara. I'm not gonna put eyelashes because I wanna see how, you know, the whole no makeup makeup comes together let's see I'm not gonna contour I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush guys chocolate or what come on literally oh gassed so I'm gonna just do a little bit of um, a nude lip. This um, lip liner is the LA, LA Girl lip liner in the shade. What shade is this? Rose. Rose. So just put 
lip gloss I'm using is Revolution and it's in the shade Gone Rogue. I don't know if the lips are a bit too much for this look. I'm gonna try and tone it down a little bit. Might put some, yeah. Ooh, scary. I think that's a bit better so guys this is the finished look obviously this is like natural natural makeup so there's no eyeshadow no contour no highlight literally just the skin tint the foundation powder mascara obviously my eyebrows and then my lips but yeah, so let's let's go through everything. Let's, get, um, let's go through everything and see what we think. So, twenty retails for twenty five pounds, thirty two mils. This is the size compared to my head. I don't know why I always compare it to my head. My head is obviously <laughs> going to be bigger, but this is the size of it, right? Um, I think she said there were twenty five shades, if I'm not mistaken, available in twenty five adaptable shade options. Yeah, 25 shades, buildable light to medium coverage, yes. Um, smooth smooth texture that layers with primer and skincare. So as I said before, I did prime my skin. I used the Huda Beauty um, complexion primer and I moisturized as well beforehand. Apply with fingers and a brush. So obviously I used, so I used a brush and it applied seamlessly from this literally start to finish. It says humidity, sweat and transfer resistant formula. So. I'm not going to be able to sweat right now to prove that but so I will say buildable light to medium yes definitely I'll give it five out of five I know that's very 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 high but yep five out of five for that shade I will give five out of five it literally matched me perfectly went well with the foundation powder which I use so those these two together is probably what I will do in the future um, transfer let's see so let me so that's rubbing my hand on my face I'm gonna give this out of five I'm gonna say 4.6 and the reason I'm gonna give 4.6 which is really random is because I haven't been out in the sun to sweat um, I haven't worn it for hours on end. I've literally just applied it and it's just my thoughts, but for the shade blending in, blurring the skin, which it says it does. So it's literally blurred out all my pigmentation. My pores, I feel like have been blurred. I'm going to say it for those reasons, five out of five, but just for the fact I haven't been outside and sweated, I can't obviously give it perfect five out of five, but I'm so, 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 so happy with it. If you're thinking of buying it, it's definitely... Personally, for me, obviously, I've only used it once, but for me, it's worth it. Um, if you do buy it and you have bought it and tried it, please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on it. If you've enjoyed this video, again, give me a comment below and um, let me know why you enjoyed this video, what you thought of the review. Please subscribe and support my little channel. We're trying to grow here. Thank you to everybody who's subscribed so far. I really appreciate it. All your comments and like feedback, I really, really appreciate it. And I feel like, you know, I'm excited about this channel and where it's going and I, you know I love making these videos I'm really getting into it now so please support me comment down below like this video share it with your friends and let's keep this channel growing I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in my next video take care